Have you had enough? Do you want someone who will tell it like it is? Do it to you straight? Do you want to be empowered? I'm Martha Montalongo. Tune into my show Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, right here on CRN Digital Talk. For the hottest talk with people who are standing up to the political machine and standing up with you. I guess Jim Corey, and I was quoting in his story, this uh, former detective military intelligence officer, Sid Franz, F-R-A-N-E-S, is that how you say that? Uh, yes. Yeah, and besides saying that he was thin-skinned commander-in-chief, he said, make no mistake, this president does not like military or law enforcement personnel. He is a glorified community organizer, and Al Sharpton, without the extra pounds, boy, he doesn't, uh, <laughs> I guess he's been looking at those skinny golfing pictures. <laughs> hey, Jim, uh, let's get a call in here real quick. Diane San Diego, you are on with Jim Corey. Hi, Jim. It's Diane down in San Diego County. I talked to you probably several months ago. Oh, okay. Thank you. You remember that? And I, I wrote to you, referenced uh, a long history about my son and a kidnapping, et cetera. You right. Me back. Right. Okay. Anyway, my fiancé was a uh, military man, 33 years in the Navy, and I was with him for 10 years. Uh, I took care of him until he passed three years ago of liver cancer. I'm sorry. Uh, he was up for Admiral, and I know through all the experience and the time that we were together, you, you understand, and I grew up in, around the military since I was a little girl. We came to California. My stepfather was in the uh, trained the seals in 1956 in uh, Silver Strand in Coronado. Then we came to Camp Pendleton, and it was the Third Battalion, First Marines with Amtrak. He was the head of that. So, and then my first husband, Silver Star, in Vietnam twice. But the the thing is, what I hear <coughs> uh, and what I can see through the lines here is, I think that uh, McChrystal got a he's the fall guy. And as far as I'm concerned, he's at the top. Uh, he did the right thing. Uh, perhaps he spoke that the, this gentleman divulged some of his uh, writings. I mean, uh, Hastings put it a little bit uh, maybe in a caricature that uh, didn't become him as an officer and a general. But I think General McChrystal will come out uh, smelling like a rose. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I've been around the military, and I live in, we live in, around the military all the time. So uh, I think Holbrook uh, caused a lot of his problems, so did Eikenberry, and now they're giving him the crystal the downfall. And uh, these men need to speak up. What are they supposed to do, sit there in a box when they're being attacked night and day? They have to have some kind of, uh, and they weren't listening to him. The NSA wasn't listening to him. The White House wasn't listening. Obama wasn't listening. And that's really too bad. Uh, Hank Phelps, my fiance, who passed away, went to the Pentagon for the last five years, and probably because he misspoke, he didn't become an admiral. And so, and irregardless of the entire operation, uh, Betrayus, <laughs> I don't think is going to do any kind of good job. Uh, I think also McChrystal is the gentleman who's in special forces. He's the man who went underground and found Saddam Hussein. So how can you slap him in the face when Biden is the big mouth? Biden, you know, stands up there at the podium when, they, when uh, President Obama is mm -hmm. doing a press conference and says the F word and acts like it's okay. So, you know, tit for tat, double standard. I think I the guess, White House uh, is way out of touch. I guess, Diane, if you use the F word, uh, that's not disrespectful in front of the commander in chief. <laughs> I guess not. And if it came from the vice president, right, Chuck? Right, yeah. Jim, uh, any comments <laughs> well, you know, there for Joe Biden? Joe Biden has the reputation, at one, had the reputation of being the dumbest guy in the U.S. Senate. And uh, which, which really, that, that's something to boast about, <laughs> considering yeah, yeah, who are senators. And, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is that Biden was against uh, the surge, you know, all of a sudden these guys are in charge now and they act like the, the eight years, the only time they bring up George W. Bush's administration is to blame the administration for the, for the rough economy we now, we're now experiencing. Uh, but uh, all, all of a sudden 
Well, the people that George Bush had, Petraeus and others, uh, are just fine with them, and they, they're willing to get rid of someone who actually was more of on the same page as Obama, uh, as far as I could see, uh, because the guy denigrated uh, some of the people that work for Obama. And I, you actually, you know, I haven't seen anything that I found shocking. Uh, I read some of it online. I didn't see anything shocking that he said about President Obama. No, I think it was know, the subordinates uh, that made most of the yeah. comments. He said their first meeting kind of boring, you know. But also, Jim, you, you know, Biden made that big announcement about how, thanks to President Obama, the Iraqi war was such a success. Iraq, the great success they had in Iraq. And you're absolutely right. They're not going to give the credit to Bush. We're going to take a break. We're going to continue in just a moment more with Jim Corey. And we're going to let you know what was going on when he was being relieved over there in Afghanistan. I think a few people were caught and executed or something. We'll be right back. Listen carefully to this message. If you are about to buy hardwood flooring, you're going to pay too much. Unless, of course, you buy from us.